Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Pattern Curl Mousse. And I'm actually going to be using mousse to style just my natural texture hair. I've used mousse before, as y'all saw with African Pride, to do like twist outs and flexi rod sets and blah blah blah, but like to actually style just the natural texture. And of course, y'all know my natural texture is messed up. But I still want to see how it holds. Um, it's gotten a little bit better. If you saw my last video, the final results of the Curlsmith Curl Bond Rehab Salve. Rehab, Rehab, re something. You know that my hair texture is just a little bit better. Actually, kind of a lot-ish better. But, of course, she ain't the way she posts to be. I personally think that mousse alone isn't good for just my regular texture hair but I've been using it especially to refresh my hair and I'm like wait why is this good why is using mousse better than me using water to refresh my hair like why didn't y'all tell me that I just hopped out the shower that's why you know my hair is obviously wet my skin is looking beautiful because I just washed my face and you know I'm all boom boom moisturized here um once again I'm not naked got this on is anyone else out there like me where if i know i'm going to be washing my hair that day i don't do like my skincare routine because whenever i do like my skincare routine in the morning hop out the shower wash my hair i feel like the my skincare products are going into my eyeballs and i got sensitive eyeballs so yes i i finally did my skincare routine like at close to 2 p.m so whatever it is Fine. So this is what my hair looks like right now. These little creases right here are <laughs> embarrassing me, but like the rest is like almost close to even with this side of my hair. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, divide my hair and then put in my moisturizing products and then I'll come back when it's time to actually use this baby. Don't let me down, please. All right, hair is split up. I got this one section with all the moisturizing products in and whatnot. I do not have my Camille Rose. Whew. I mean, like, it's right here, but it's not in my hair. I'm kind of scared because I don't know how this is going to work. Am I even putting this on right? Applied to damp and conditioned hair. Okay, yeah. My hair is somewhat damp. Because of the damage I did to my hair, it literally drinks of water. So, I'm going to have to refill my spray bottle in a bit. Alright, let's go! It smells like some kind of... I'm going to say it smells like some kind of melon, but I don't know. Alright, so let's do this. Put this all in. I also think I probably did too much. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to get them roots. I gotta get the root. Honestly, not gonna lie, I'm more scared of how my hair at the root is gonna react because that's where it's like not damaged at the roots, which I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, so it's like, if my roots don't like it, what am I gonna do? Pretty much I gotta let, hopefully the rest of the hair likes it. Okay, anyways, look at it. Look at her. She's okay, she's doing all right. She's, she's doing her thing. So now I just have to keep going. Keep going. Also, I'm doing my hair early enough where I'll be able to diffuse and show y'all the final product. So, yay! You know what other mousse I want to try? I want to try the Dew um, mousse, whatever it's actually called. I don't really remember. Because I did not know that it was a two-in-one product. It's a leave-in and a styler. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on now. Because I was watching Will on a Whim the other day. And that's how I heard about it. Of course, I've heard of the Dew before. But it's like, oh, I didn't know it was like something like that. You know, like that, like that. All right, I did two pumps with this one. So I would actually really like to try it because I honestly would love more like multi-use products because uh, sometimes you got to just do your hair quick or you don't feel like doing it. I know a lot of times I don't feel like doing my hair. So it's like if I can have something like the do that gives me moisture and also control, yeah yeah that means i might have to say goodbye to miss camille no i love her it's okay baby we don't know yet let's not speak on things we don't know about yet okay so that's my hair so far i mean she'll go right. just have to just let it dry let it do its thing 
Um, and yeah, let's just do that. Also, I have forgot, I do have to kind of scratch my hair sometimes. At least some of the longer bits I have to scratch. But, alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish the back of my hair. And then I'll um, come back to show you what it looks like. I got the whole back done. I had to scrunch this side up quite a bit. It looks like she's doing a little eye or whatever, but I'm going to turn around and show y'all the back. Also, I apologize for me not showing y'all the back of my hair properly. I don't I don't have eyes on the back of my head, so I don't know how this looks, but um, yeah, I'm going to turn around and show y'all what it looks like. Uh, you got to let me know how it looks. <gasps> oh my goodness. I need to move anything with sleeves over here because now I have hair problems on my can you see it? How the, how we look in? Tie the rest of this back, even though it might not be the smartest thing to do. But I'm going to do it. Tie it back, and I'm going to finish the front parts of my hair. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. I just finished this side right here. I've been scrunching like crazy because I'm so scared. But I have my hair tied up in the back. But this side shrunk up pretty good, so... Maybe I'm just being over exaggeratory, but um, I just obviously need to do this side and then I'll show y'all the full effect and we shall see. I'm honestly for real really concerned about my roots though. So I will be putting on extra mousse like all over my hair and see if that does anything. But also how much am I using? I don't know. I can't see this bottle. Not the one with the best reviews, okay? Italy. So I am almost done. I just have this last piece to do, but I just wanted to show y'all, I guess, how I'm doing my hair. Oh! So just using my wide tooth comb just to, you know, do the detangling tanglings. Do that. And then using my pattern brush. I know somebody left a comment on one of my uh, hair videos and they were saying, um, to like train my hair to curl train my hair or whatever it's called and something about like wrapping my hair around the brush and then I don't know if it was like they meant horizontal or vertical I'm not sure but I kind of been trying to do it like this I don't know I mean I have seen people do like vertical but it's like I don't know if I can even do that Never doubt yourself. Never doubt yourself because I did it. Okay. I don't know if it made a difference though. That's the thing. Now now we're just getting a little crazy. Okay. Well, there's that. And then I use like sometimes two or three pumps. Right now I'm using three pumps of the mousse. I really try to focus on the root. And then I go down. And then scrunch like it's nobody's business. I guess I'm done. I'm, you know what? Just to be safe. Took about five pumps. I hope I'm not doing this wrong. Because I feel like my hair is just going to be crazy frizzy now. Oh no. I don't know, y'all. I haven't used mousse like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so yeah, this is what my. Hair looks like, y'all want to see the back again? Okay. Oh, jeez. Help. Help me. This is what the hair like. If you can see. Am I, like, are y'all seeing this right? So now I'm going to diffuse my hair. I need to obviously clean up all this stuff so I can actually reach my outlet. So, um, I'll probably come back in the middle of diffusing or after I'm done with my hair. So, wish me luck. Hair dryers really be doing a number on my cheeks because you gotta your baby. I'm done. I think my hair is fully dried. I think maybe it just needs some time to like you know swell and everything, but I did not expect it to actually look like this. Like it looks like if I had in um the Camille Rose Curl Maker in for a few days and then the cast broke and it's like boom here it is but like freshly after that cast broke but yeah honestly 
I might be using mousses a lot more because also it's like it's it's honestly it's a great time for me to try this because right now we're in spring we're gonna get into summer and you know having your hair have all that product in and you feel the product and it's all hot and blue 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 this is like maybe it's, it feels like water but uh yeah honestly I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, is my camera running out of um, room? All right, space on my camera now, so I don't have to rush in talking, but I really like this, to be honest. It does have like a nice hold. Um, it does say it's flake-free, which obviously I wanna know if that is true or not at this very moment because I just did it. Um, I cannot wait until the bangs get fixed, y'all. I'm, I'm just as upset as you are looking at them, okay? Um, one day hopefully they'll get fixed but oh my goodness i really like it i'm gonna show y'all the back we does the back look good because i don't know it feels nice to me oh jeez i just need this part right here to like shrink up a little bit more if it can you know if it can i want it to shrink up a little bit more but i think only time will um tell with that but hey Look at this part. This is like the part of my hair that is like pretty much permanently straight. But look at it. Look what she's doing. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, acting correct only for like literally 24 hours and then it's just going to drop. But yeah, I really like this. I think I'm going to start doing this a lot more. I don't know if it's going to be like my, you know, summer thing where I use, um, mousses as my styler but i still love this this is my baby i love you so much Mwah. but you know sometimes i maybe i need to give you a break because you do be breaking my pockets but i love you so much Mwah. now i'm really 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 wanting to try the do because if i can use a foam but it also has a leave-in so that means i don't even have to put in like other conditioning products in my hair Oh my goodness, that saves me time and money. But how is that going to be when I have to detangle my hair? I guess, I guess I'll put a little bit of like a leave-in or something. Or just detangle my hair in the shower. Oh, I hate doing that so much. Oh, and the amount that I use, I think I could see it. I use about, I'm like all the way here. I use a lot. Maybe I could have used less. But hey, I wanted to make sure that this kind of what. Oh my goodness, this has marshmallow root in it. My hair really likes marshmallow root. It likes marshmallow root in here. I tried the Uncle Funky's Daughter one because that also has marshmallow root. Mm -mm. It To me, it wasn't that good. But since this has marshmallow root, I don't know. This might be good. It might be good. And it has castor oil. Ooh. This is going to be cool. Okay, okay. I definitely can't wait to see how my hair is going, you know, looking last throughout the week. I'll leave a comment down below. Um probably the day before I wash my hair to let y'all know how I feel about it or maybe I might post a picture I don't know maybe all right let me just stop it right here um I had to unfortunately put my hair up for different reasons not because of the actual styling product but I had to put my hair up but as you can see I think it kept the curls it kept the curls, but yeah, my hair's been up for the last few days. Um, so yeah, there's not going to be a, you know, day before wash thing or whatever. Um, like I said, I definitely would do this again. I kind of want to reserve like mousses to use during the summertime. Um, cause I feel like my hair dries faster with the mousse. Uh, definitely want to still try the do. Um, but yeah, let me know what other mousses. I want to try not your mother's because not your mama's is affordable. Um, cause it's not your mama's. All right, y'all continue watching the rest of the video. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm gonna go. Thank y'all for watching. Um, if you liked it, please give it a like. Also, comment down below what other mousses you want me to try. What other stylers you want me to try. What other any hair products you want me to try. I still got a bunch of hair products for my hair haul. Also, let me know if y'all want a $20 hair care routine because I've been wanting to try that. Also, I noticed that Aunt Jackie's products, I I don't know if it's just me, but I remember remember them being more expensive back in the day. But now they're like about six, seven dollars a product. I'm like, what? When did that happen? So yeah, let me know if you want a twenty dollar hair care, um, you know, routine or whatnot. Cause I want to try some, some Aunt Jackie's, see what Cantu got to do, and other things. All right, I'm gonna go cause now I'm blabbering.
now that I have my glasses on, I didn't even know how shiny my hair was. Wow! Okay, pattern. 